Welcome to the Assessing Online Resources tutorial. Search engines can be a useful way to find general information on your topic. However, a poorly executed search can pull up over 100 million pages, so it's important to know how to use a search engine to effectively limit your results to those you want. It's also important to develop skills to judge whether or not the information you find is reliable. We want to research issues to do with post-secondary education for Aboriginal students in Canada. An internet search makes sense for this topic because the federal and provincial governments, as well as educational and native institutions, will have published information on this topic on the open web. We select the advanced search link as this offers a number of useful ways of focusing our search. One of the challenges of an internet search is knowing which keywords to use. To find as many relevant articles as possible, we use three commonly used terms in Canada for Indigenous peoples, Aboriginal, First Nations, and Native Canadian. We enclose First Nations and Native Canadian in quotation marks to encourage Google to search for them together as a phrase. We'll search post-secondary as a phrase, meaning the words are found together, not separated by other words. We add education and challenges as keywords to further focus our search. We put .com in the box labeled, but don't show pages that have any of these unwanted words. This will reduce the number of commercial sites in our results. And search. Once we have some results, we need to evaluate them to see which are reliable. The first step is to examine the URL. This one appears to be a BC government site, so the information source is reliable enough for our purposes. Remember, just because we consider a source reliable, it doesn't mean we accept what they write unquestioningly. While we can't always decipher a URL, we can often get some useful information. For example, this seems to be a parliamentary committee report. In this case, clicking on the link opens a PDF which contains little information about the sponsoring organization. However, if we copy and paste the first part of the URL into a new tab, we are taken to the home page of the sponsoring institution. We can then use the About Us link to find out who they are. When we're satisfied that the sponsoring institution seems reliable, we move on to look at the research they commissioned. We download and open the PDF, and begin to examine various features. First, the size of the report is substantial. The subject of the report fits with our research theme. The date is recent enough for our purposes. However, we want to see who did the research, so we do a Google search of the name of the group. We copy and paste the name of the organization into a search engine to see who they are. When we're satisfied with the organization that prepared the report, we return to the report to examine it further. We examine the table of contents to ensure that the contents are relevant. A well-researched report will also have a substantial bibliography from reliable sources. These provide a good source of further material for us to include in our research. More information on evaluating websites can be found in the Additional Resources section on the menu. Once we're satisfied that the information is suitable for an academic paper, we save the PDF and collect the bibliographic information, including the URL and when we accessed it. This ends the Assessing Online Resources tutorial. For more tutorials, return to the menu.